Hi, everyone. Steve Davis here. Uh, three very quick things to share. Uh, first of all, uh, last night at the time of recording were the South Australian Tourism Awards. And uh, congratulations to all the winners who uh, are putting the spotlight on their passion here in South Australia, just like we do, put the uh, passion of South Australia on centre stage. Um, but there are three in particular, three awardees uh, who also have Adelaide Show podcasts uh, that you can go and listen to to get more insight into. The first one is Adelaide Zoo. Congratulations. A couple of gongs, um, Category 1 Major Tourist Attractions and Category 32, the Premier's Award for Service Excellence going to Adelaide Zoo. And if you're curious, go back to episode 42. It's called the ABC edition, Adelaide Beetles and Chimps. And it features Dr. Jane Goodall, whom we recorded a chat with at the Adelaide Zoo. That was a few years ago now. Uh, next in the festivals and events category, congratulations to the Bay to Birdwood 2020, taking out the silver medal there, the silver prize. And there are many Bay to Birdwood episodes you can listen to. I, I had the privilege of being part of the telecast of that. That was the first sort of virtual version of the Bay to Birdwood. Uh, but episode 214, the Bay to Birdwood experience, is a ripper uh, to get inside the work that Paul Rees and all the people do there. And the third awardee to note is Adelaide Haunted Horizons. They picked up the bronze medal for the uh, tour and transport operators category. And uh, I obviously would have liked to see them have even more than that. But when you look at their trophy cabinet, it is groaning under the weight. Um, and Alison gave us a great interview, episode 205, called Ghosts among us and uh, i encourage you to have a listen to that i'll put all the links uh, below in this video um the other thing is uh, today which is the 5th of november um udunda launches its 150th celebrations uh, tonight in the town the governor's attending and they're having the official launch of the program uh, also the launch of the book the diary of emily appelt and I've probably pronounced her name incorrectly, and no doubt I'll be corrected soon. Um, and also, it's the opening night of the Udunda Art Exhibition. And I'm thrilled to say that uh, on behalf of the Adelaide Show, I'll be a judge next Saturday, the 13th, in Udunda of that art competition. So I'm looking forward to that. And if you see me there, then please uh, correct my pronunciation of Emily's uh, name. And the last thing is, uh, in the current episode that's out, episode 338 with Dr. James Mukey, it's called uh, Sugar versus Dr. James Mukey. We did have some listener questions, and I've got a little snippet now taken from that episode, just to show that when I put out uh, things saying, we've got a guest coming on, give us your questions, we do put them to the guests if they make it to us in time. So let's take it away with a few listener questions being answered by Dr. James Mukey. Two other listeners ask very similar questions. Monique Miller would like to know your opinion on artificial sweeteners and the sugar-free craze. Should we cut back on sweet altogether or are they an okay alternative? And Chris Glenn from Japan asks, what do you suggest as sugar alternatives? Because we've been using one made from beets. So this is about alternatives to sugar and sweetening. Do we try to find sweetening alternatives or do we avoid sweetness altogether? <laughs> I guess that's how I would summarize it. Exactly. So they're called non-nutrient sweeteners, those artificial sweeteners. So I think 25% uh, of us consume them. So it's, there's a huge market there, mm. as you can imagine. It's a very lucrative business. But they have been linked to a range of chronic diseases, again, like type 2 diabetes. And oh. the most important thing is that they maintain our addiction to things sweet. Gotcha. So basically anything sweet will maintain our addiction. So if you're wanting to detox completely uh, from sweet products, then pretty much you've got to give it up because, you know, if you, as I mentioned before, if you're, trans, if you're trying to transit from a full sugar to, uh, to water, then those artificial sweetened beverages, not a bad way to go. Uh, but it's, it's uh, ultimately, I think the, the aim should be to, to detox completely from them. There you go. So whether it's beets or whether it's anything else. Yeah, honey. I mean, the honey, people often wonder whether honey yes. is a good substitute. The, the thing about honey is, is it has many more micronutrients than, than sucrose does for sure. There's no doubt. It's, uh, but it's about 70% sugar. 
and it's very strong flavour. So you can't overconsume honey. It's there's only so much honey you consume. So honey's not a bad substitute. Once again, if you're trying to yeah. head down the pathway of, of detoxing completely, but ultimately, once you're if you're maintaining your addiction to sweet things on a daily basis, then you know ultimately you're going to be looking down the pathway of chronic disease because it just takes one little trip over and you're back into that. Yeah. A lady, a lady. 